Here's the Breeders' Crown Open Pace Field, the story, four star shark. He's won nine of ten. He's paced three straight sub 149 miles, and who knows, the world race record of 47 and three could be in jeopardy. Throw off Boulder Creek out of there fast. Four star shark easing out of there with Royal Majesty towards the inside and Quality Western protects rail position around the first turn and Pierce guns Boulder Creek to an easy first turn lead. But Campbell's on the move up with the Royal Majesty from second. The pedal down there. It's Quality Western third. Four star shark is fourth at this point as they head towards the opening quarter. Peruvian Hanover is fifth. It's Cam Cracker sixth on the inside followed by All American Capdor and Artesian at the back is Dr. Drew. Single file. Royal Majesty hit the quarter in 26 and 1. Royal Majesty and Campbell in control down the backstretch momentarily here. Boulder Creek is second out of third. Here comes Jingra making a key move with Quality Western and Four Star Shark is out to track him. And it's a length and a half back to Peruvian Hanover getting whip urging in the fifth position as they head towards the half mile. Cam Cracker is sixth in a gap of three lengths here. All-American Captor not keeping pace. Artesian on the outside and Dr. Drew and they're locking up in a battle past the half in 52 and 1. Unheard of half mile fraction here. Royal Majesty and Quality Western now. Eyeball to eyeball. They're locking up in a speed duel here on the far turn with the Boulder Creek locked in the box third. And four star Shark lurks there. Fourth on the outside. Second over. Towards the inside. Peruvian Hanover is locked in. Fifth Cam Cracker setting it up. He's tracking the favorite there. Third over for Mark McDonald as they turn for home. And it's Royal Majesty at three quarters in one. 19 and three. That's a track record three quarter time there. Royal Majesty on the inside by two lengths now and out of the pocket Pierce looking for an upset with Boulder Creek and four star Shark hasn't got it today and it's Boulder Creek to the top Boulder Creek with a huge upset perfect Pierce piloting did it it's Boulder Creek up the rail Peruvian head over in the photo for place with Royal Majesty well this is why they race them folks because you just never know the fastest breeders ground mile ever and what a gutsy effort from Royal Majesty taking him to the three quarters in 119 and three. That's the fastest ever at the Big M and still holding on for second. The winner owned excuses in his last two and has been battling open company all year. And the Shark was sitting fourth, no pop, finished seventh, a small dent in his horse of the year armor. And the bridge jumpers jumped. Mark Silva's biggest career win. Ron Pierce putting an exclamation point on an incredible season. Yeah, we were in a real sweet spot, and I, uh, the horse felt real good, and I, uh, I, I, I was uh, kind of licking my chops there, but I, I wasn't sure just what Mike was up to back there, and uh, turning for home, uh, we had some room, we come out, the horse had plenty of pace, uh, like I said, I don't know what happened to Mike. Uh, he's a beautiful horse. He uh, he always draws bad, so he hasn't got a chance to shine. I'm real proud of him winning this race tonight. He finally got a chance to shine like he deserves. But uh, he always races good. He always gets, he can leave a little. He stays in the race. And even when you beat him up, he's still happy the next day. We always hope and are optimistic, but, you know, Four Star Shark's a great horse. He's been a great horse all year. My accolades go to him. He probably just wasn't himself today. Um, nothing to take away from Boulder Creek, but it, it's, it's a real tribute to race in the Breeders' Crown and to win it. Thankfully, this is the third time I've won it, but uh, people running the Breeders' Crown are great people, Tom Charters, etc. But uh, we were real happy, and, you know, this was a horse I bought as a yearling and just worked out well today.